Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be reviewing Wix. So if you want to know how to create your own website using the Wix website builder, you've come to the right place. Now, it doesn't matter if you're running a business or working for yourself. Having a website lets people know that you're legit, capable, and professional. And creating a website can be done in many ways but I personally really like using Wix. So a few years ago, I decided to turn my passion for photography into a web-based presence. The goal was to create a digital gallery where my work could also reach a larger audience, which allowed me to focus on sharing my photos instead of worrying about the technical stuff. And by choosing Wix, it really made it simple for me to create a space for my work and connect with people who are interested in my work. Which is why I'm going to be showing you how I used Wix, how it works, the pros and cons, prices, and how it stacks up against other companies that offer a similar service. And of course, I'll also go over some things you should know about Wix before you decide to use it or not. And if at any point you wanna try Wix out, I have a special affiliate discount link for you in the description below. This link gives you an extra discount that you won't find by going directly to their website and gives me a commission, which is good for the both of us. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so Wix is the largest website building platform with over 250 million users across 190 countries. And the size of the platform is an important thing to think about when hosting websites. Now, you don't want your website to go down if your hosting company goes down first. In short, Wix is an easy to use website builder for individuals without any coding experience who want to create and manage websites in an easy way. Aside from that, it deals with corporate and industrial clients and has good options for all kinds of small businesses, even e-commerce websites. Now, Wix is a full-featured website builder that comes with all the tools that you need to start and upkeep your website. It comes with a hosting package, a domain name, and up to four different plans available to choose from. And because the hosting is done in the cloud, there's no need to download any software, which means you're able to manage your website from anywhere. And to be honest, I found out that creating and designing your website is actually pretty easy and quite fun, especially for those of you who, well, just like me, don't have a lot of experience building websites. Basically, you can choose from thousands of plugins and tools in their large app store to customize your website to your liking. Another thing I want to mention is that because Wix is a software as a service platform, you need to pay each month in order to use it. Your subscription, on the other hand, comes with everything you need to build and maintain your website. All right, let's get into their plans and pricing. But before I get into too much detail about the paid plans, I want to point out that you can make a free website, but it'll have some limitations, like limited bandwidth, Wix branding, and an address that uses the Wix domain name. And I honestly think this is a good way to try out their features and see how you like their service. But you most likely won't want the Wix logo or name in the domain for most standard websites. It just looks very unprofessional. So if you don't want to look so unprofessional, you can pick one of their four plans that range from $17 to $159 per month. And each plan comes with a 14 day free trial. First off, there's the light plan, which is their cheapest plan. It costs about $17 per month if you pay for a year in advance. And I recommend this plan for people who want to make an online resume, portfolio, or blog. And just like with any of these paid plans, your website won't have the Wix logo on it. On top of that, they'll also give you a free custom domain for a year and a secure SSL certificate. This keeps private data on your website, like passwords and any other personal details safe. So this plan comes with two gigabytes of storage space and 30 minutes of video, which is more than enough to put your CV or portfolio online. Next is the core plan, which gives businesses access to some of Wix's best e-commerce features, which make the service worth it. For two years, nonprofits can make and host one website for 70% off, which makes this a great choice for them. It's also good for small businesses and freelancers who want to get in touch with customers. And you get everything in the light plan for $29 a month if you pay for the entire year in advance. Plus, you get 50 gigabytes of space and five hours of video. Now, there are also some cool marketing tools, basic site analytics, and easy e-commerce features that you can use. 
Not only that, but customers can also make accounts on your website, and you get a calendar of events and the Wix Website Booster app for free for a year. The Booster app makes sure that Google and the other major search engines list your website on the first page. On top of that, you can make your own professional logo, which you can download in different formats and use right away on social media sites. Next, there's the business plan, which is good for anyone who already runs a business and wants to open an online store. This plan is the best deal and costs $36 a month if you pay for the entire year in advance. So I actually picked this plan for myself because it comes with 100 gigabytes of storage space and 10 hours of video, which I needed for my photography. It also has everything that you need to set up and run a successful e-commerce website. And you can add paid apps like Wix Bookings or Wix Hotels from the App Store. Plus, there are also a lot of useful marketing and SEO tools that you can use to make your online business look exactly the way you want it to. Lastly, companies with more than 50 employees can get the Business Elite plan for $159 a month. This plan gives you priority customer service, unlimited storage and video streaming. But to be honest, the simpler plans might be enough for most websites that get regular traffic. I personally think that the Business Elite plan is really only for websites that expect to get a lot of traffic. Another feature is the Wix ADI, which is a cool feature that I really liked using. It pretty much uses AI to help you build a starter website after you give it some simple instructions. And even though it did a great job, I used it as a guide to design the website myself because it didn't give me the customization options I was looking for. And again, if you wanna try Wix out, I have a special affiliate discount link for you in the description below. This link gives you an extra discount that you won't find by going directly to their website and gives me a commission, which is good for the both of us. Okay, I had no trouble using Wix's platform. The way that it works is basically that after you sign up, you choose a plan, and then the fun part starts when you get to create and design your website and have the option to choose from more than 800 templates that you can edit using Wix's user-friendly and simple tools. And if you've never created a website before, there are a ton of tutorials available that you can watch. Also, I just want to mention that it's important that you know that once you choose a template, there's no going back. So make sure that you can go live with the one that you chose. The thing with these templates is that some of them are not fully responsive, which means that they don't always show up right on mobile formats. I personally used the drag and drop editor, which was very easy to use. Another thing I really liked was the editor's single sidebar, which allowed me to easily change images, titles, captions, and all the other content. Also, images and text can be resized after being placed anywhere on the page. Plus, if you're really good at editing, you can right click to get a lot more advanced options. So out of all the features that Wix offers, I think that the drag and drop editor is the most user friendly and people really enjoy using it. But there are other advanced options as well, like Editor X if you want to add CSS grid layouts or a more responsive design, or maybe Velo Dev mode for developers to add custom JavaScript code. And lastly, there are even more editing features in the Wix Studio. So even though you might not need these at first, it's a good idea to have them available in case your business grows and you need them later on. So after setting up the design and content, you can start adding features and functions to your website by choosing add-ons from an extensive selection of widgets and business tools. And it's important to note that once you create a website on Wix, it cannot be transferred to another web hosting provider. So you wanna be 100% positive that you'll be happy to stay on Wix as your company grows. Now, in order to get your own custom business email, you'll need to add a Google Workspace plan. This will cost you an extra $6 a month and give you access to all of Google's online tools as well as email addresses. And it really helps a lot to know these things before you start. I was actually very impressed by how easy it was to get a website designed and online. Plus, you can get help from Wix's customer service team 24 seven. And there are also helpful tutorials that you can use if you ever need them. Okay, so how does Wix stack up against other services that are pretty similar? So let's compare Wix to Squarespace. They both do pretty much the same thing, but when it comes to building a website, Squarespace might be better for someone who has never done it before because it only has one editor and fewer customization options. Still, Wix was my go-to website builder because it gave me more options. That being said, Squarespace is a lot easier to use 
and all of its templates work on all mobile devices. And as I already said, this doesn't always happen with Wix. Wix, on the other hand, has more templates, better e-commerce features, and more ways to add extra features to your website. Though Wix could be clearer about how their prices work. Anyway, wrapping up this review, Wix is the best all-around option for building a website. It's simple enough even for a complete beginner to use. It has more website features and add-ons than other platforms out there, as well as a ton of amazing customizable templates and great e-commerce solutions. With Wix, you can show off your professional skill sets, launch a small online store, or create a successful online business. Wix offers all the tools that you need to get started and grow your website. So that'll be all for today. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please like and subscribe for more. And again, if you want to try Wix out, I have a special affiliate discount link for you in the description below. This link gives you an extra discount that you won't find by going directly to their website and gives me a commission, which is good for the both of us. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.